Hello, dorks. I went over here. Yeah. Hi. Hello. This is Unchatter. We're playing Dwarf Fortress. Uh, that's kind of it. <laughs> um, I was just glancing at our fort here. Sorry, my brain is in a very different place right now, but I'm gonna shove it into the dwarf face hole. Um, let's go. Let's just go here. Yeah. Oh, and then all my junk every single time. Um, if that's because of this, I need to turn on this light. Reach, of course, the creature is right here. I have to reach across the creature to get to her light. <laughs> and I'll do my my fancy lights real quick. But anyway, we're we're working on this fortress here. Exit. No. Why not? Why not? Anyway, we're working on this fortress, and things are going well. This is episode three of our tiny fortress. Look, the, you're seeing the whole thing right now. We were working on some of our uh, above ground stuff. Um, I guess most recently we had a bear. A bear attacked, <laughs> and we had our first casualties. Uh, where's the new to create? And then it goes here. And then there. We need a macro to set the macro. There we go. Perfect. We had a bear. <laughs> um, which was fun because no one's really armed yet. You can see, I think we had three, <laughs> three casualties. Um, one, two, and then there's another body hiding up there. Um, unfortunate, but uh, un also it's gonna happen. We're in a pretty hostile environment here. Um, and this was just a normal grizzly bear. And it got, <laughs> it got launched by our, our door. We actually flung it up and over these trees. And then the merchants, as they were coming out there, they had an axe door from that. That took care of the problem. So we didn't actually take care of the bear. That was um, that was our dwarf friends. But anyway, we're working on trying to make ourselves secure here, which is going mostly okay. Uh, we have we have a couple gates. This is our trade caravan entrance. So it just comes down here, and it just has access to the trade depot at at this point. Plus our quarry, I guess, um, and our initial stockpile the stockpile that we're still emptying out, but ultimately it's just going to be a ramp down to the trade depot. And and we'll find a way to link it. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but then the, the way into the rest of the courtyard is through here. We're going to put a whole bunch of traps in here. These are just some cage traps for now. And then we have our nice big courtyard. We have all these trees. We have a lake. Or pond, I should say. We're building some windmills. Um, oh, and this didn't even notice it last time, but we built a windmill and then we built another windmill. I was curious if you could walk through these tiles, which it looks like you can. So we're just gonna keep building some windmills here. And these windmills are for powering, uh, well, everything really, but mostly we're working on powering some pumps so that we can pump some water up over our central stairway spiral type deal. And then waterfalls, people getting happy, collecting at the bottom, pumping it back up. Nice little closed loop system through our center stairway. And the windmills will be powering it because our river freezes for like more than half the year. It's, it's mid autumn, it froze like late summer and thawed like early summer. <laughs> so uh, we won't be doing water power with this fortress, but that's fine. We can build windmills. Let's go ahead and build like this and up to 63. We don't have that many. Okay. Uh, but we can do like this, right? That's 27 almost. Just do like this. Or do we... I don't know. How much how much jet are we gonna have? Uh 
yeah, we'll, we'll do this for now. That's fine. I'll work on that. I do want to build some more some more walls in here. We're basically going to put in a serpentine. I'm thinking... I'm thinking about incorporating some ballistas in here. Um, so that'll be cool. And then... What else? What else going on? So we just... <laughs> we uh, own farms. I realized after the fact that we dug out the under of this whole <laughs> this whole pond here um so that's cool ultimately not a huge deal since it's frozen but we'll we'll have to we'll have to keep an eye on this there's gonna be some this is gonna thaw and then it's gonna cause a i don't know collapse i don't know what it's gonna do so that's cool and it's gonna be a half a year before we figure out what happens um because you can't see you can't see the lake when it's frozen it just doesn't show up which is cool anyway um yes so we just had a bear attack at the very end of last stream all sorts of things are canceling. What are they? Okay, so that's that wall. That's fine. Merchants have left. Three corpses. Some, <laughs> some migrants have arrived. I think it's even one of the migrants that died to the bear before it got inside. Oh well. Um, and of course now there's a cat in front of my UI. Um, I don't know if our new migrants brought any animals doesn't look like it at least pasture animals we have a we have caught a sasquatch we're starting to see some agitated creatures now and to start and to start seeing some things happen we're gonna have to make sure to keep everyone inside when we can so that's cool um anyway since things are becoming lethal sooner rather than later i think we should find a place for a hospital and some tombs. Um, I guess we can we can unpause, right? I don't know what they're all working on right now. We we made a drain. <laughs> we we drained the overflow. We have a nice little overflow of our our reservoir here. Um. Yeah, I kind of want to make this a little more on purpose. Creature, she, she's hiding under here. I know you can't see her, but she's perfectly hiding my, my UI, which is very cool. Where here, I can do this way. There. <laughs> um, I want to make a little. How's this working? So here's our... This is our, our drain going down these stairs. So I think what we want to do... Is... What is this? This is the well. How do we do this? I think ultimately what we want to do... We want to make a little hole, like... Here? That doesn't quite work, does it? Maybe over... Here? Wow, I, I really placed that smart, didn't I? This is going to be where our pump goes. We're going to pump from here. I mean, ultimately... thinking well I wasn't that's the that's the point it's a that's a whole this yeah okay that's what we use to actually connect the things okay so we can close this back up turn this into a floor and that works and then, what are you doing? You are going upstairs. Okay, so I'm curious to see how this works. So yeah, they're going up up the spiral. Are you 
you hauling? You're hauling a rock. Okay, so that's where you're going slow. Okay, cool. So, people are using the the path that I wanted. That's cool. Our oh, the bucket is full. Why does this happen? Got a bunch of magnetite. That's cool. Um, our food stockpile is going. Why? Why? Missing for a week. But we found our three corpses. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh, interrupted by Dingo Woman. Are you a human? No. Hmm. Things are already getting kind of gnarly here, aren't they? Okay, first of all, let's find a place for our corpses so we can get those inside. Those are usually, usually put those down, down below. Maybe down here. We could do something like this. And do we just want to do the catacomb thing we did last time? I think the smart thing is to make like a at least a temporary place. We'll make a stockpile so our, so our bodies can be tossed somewhere um, and not lay on the ground when we don't have space. I think that's smart. But then we can just do like this. Yeah, we're gonna run out of space real quick if we do what we did last time. A, a separate little cubby for each person. So maybe, maybe our, maybe our corpses are going to get a little more friendly in this fortress. We could do, I mean, we could do just a big room. We could do, I don't know, what's, what's smart? I don't know what's smart. We do, so the thing we did last time just do like door coffin and leaving leaving enough space so that everything can be smooth and made pretty um, we can go that far which I guess works um, I think technically we wouldn't be able to smooth one side of this one not that that really matters they I mean we didn't even bother smoothing on the last fortress or they'll be fine <laughs> I mean, they don't need doors. We don't need doors. Let's do... I'm just gonna make a room, essentially. Except not really. And then just put like... Cubbies along the sides. Things I should have considered beforehand. Oh well. We can. I mean, what if we just do like this? That was. No. Like this. And this is. This is fine. There's space for us to expand as we go. Right, okay. I mean, if we started from the end, then it would go like this. How about that? Let's just, we'll do that. Already, I mean that's some that's some space. And then... like that. 
we won't dig all this out right now, but I'll make room for it. And then in here, this will be our, our little temporary body stockpile. And then we can just say, turn some of these into into blueprints like this. Perfect. So now, dig some spots for some tombs. And then also, we need to make the coffins themselves. Let's say rock coffin. And we'll turn this to five. And we want to keep ten on hand. And that'll be good. Okay. Tombs. Figured out. They go there. Um, we are also going to want a hospital. And of course, we have our well. Which the well isn't working. Let's, <laughs> let's rebuild one. I wonder, it's something to do with the water overflowing or something? I don't know. Every time the water gets weird, the well gets weird. I'm not totally sure how that's how that's working. But, let's see. So there, we got some more creature. I love you, but you are perfectly in the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Machines, and we can do some more windmills. And these need mm, logs. Okay. We'll cut some more logs. Now, I also want to keep digging out this jet because I like it. Curious. Yeah, look at all this. Let's just keep going like this. Okay. Um, so we'll keep making blocks out of the jet to make walls and such. Uh, we have gems and weapons are still hanging out up here, so they need a spot down here. Leather cloth. Cloth does not need to be that big. Something like that for now. And then we can make a gem. Gem stockpile. And that'll be for all of our gems. And then this is going to be a weapon and armor stockpile. Weapons and Trap components and armor. Then that will allow us to. Where are we? Here we are. Come back in here and take those out. One of those. One of those. One of those. Coins aren't actually a thing. Um, so cages and sheets and ammo. Oh, ammo should go down with the, the other thing. Should go here. Ammo. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now they'll they'll figure that out. Interrupted by Dingo Woman. Don't like the sound of that. They're all they're all still needing to go back and forth. Oh, because they're all grabbing their stuff. Okay, that's fine. Um you want... Who are you? Bingo woman. Are you the person harassing us, or are you... There's a bunch of them. The dingo people. Uh, okay. Are they are they combating us? Human spearmen 
misses the dingo woman. Dingo woman misses the spearman. Dingo woman, help! Save me! Okay. So now these are going to be trapped in here. There's like, there's five dingo people in here. It's a good thing this is separated from the rest of our fortress. But they're not like attacking. They're just... Dingoing. And they're not interrupting jobs. Like, usually if, if these were hostile creatures, these dwarves would not be able to just walk by and grab a box of gems and walk back out. They would, like, freak out and run. So I'm very curious what's going on here. Okay, well, I mean, if they can make it back out, that's cool. They don't need to be here. You're just, you're just getting in the way. Oh, and someone, oh, the bear skin. Hmm. Do I have a spot for, I mean, we have a spot for leather. And it should accept. I mean, how does... IDK. Um, you won't be able to make leather out of sentient creatures, uh, but that bear was just a bear. So it should be able to be butchered and turned into into leather and such. Okay, well, we're making coffins. So what happened to our... Cancels clean to injured. Oh, no one fall in. Falled in. Fell in. Doesn't look like it. So strange. Anyway, uh, let's let's rebuild our well. Let's hopefully, it will work again. So we're digging here. That's all good. They're still, no, they are being interrupted. Hmm. The thing we can do, we just put some, we can put some cage traps around to like, as long as we leave, not too close to edge. I can't. Oh, I can't build in here. I can build over here. Uh, okay. Um. I can't build there. Can't build. Hmm. That's a thing. Okay. Um. I don't want to build... Like, I could build here, but that's on top of the river, so that's not quite what I want. I guess I could build a floor. Um, I'm just building some traps at the corners here, because, you know, people tend to path directly around a corner, so sometimes it'll just catch something walking by. Um, oh yeah, see, we're, we're catching the dingo people. Fortunately, they're not able to, to get in past there, so that's convenient at least. Um, but yeah, I'd want to put in a couple of serpentines. I guess, and I want to leave room at the end for a ballista. So ballista's one, two, three, and then a wall. And then... Two, three for the caravan. We don't have enough jet blocks. Dang it. Okay. But I'm thinking caravan comes in and then goes this way. And you have a ballista here. And then caravan comes up. You could have another ballista over here. 
facing this way. I don't know if that's really helpful though. It could also be facing down. Hmm. There's really not a lot of space here, is there? <laughs> oh well, that's what I did to myself. We could also make this wider, like I This is this is tucked in for no real reason. We could make these these wider and then we have longer lanes, basically. Or even, I don't really need to. I can put our our ballista here, turn these into fortifications, and then it would just come all the way across this way. And we'll need a way to get into our little ballista hut from, from below or something, uh, but that's fine. And then we could put another one here. I mean, we're just going to end up diverting this whole dang river, aren't we? Uh, fortunately, when it's made of ice, we can, like, mine the ice and construct walls while it's frozen, and then once it's uh, not frozen, then it will be fine. So, in theory, we can do that. Oh, these are just cages. I just made cages, not cage traps. Okay. What are you all doing? You are no job. No job. Injured. You're all freaking out. Is there something... Is there something in the air? No. What's... What's going on, guys? Earth. It is snowing on me. It is annoying. Running existing conflict. Snowstorm. It's annoying. They don't like the snow. It's ex so exasperating. It's a snowstorm. Calm down. Wow. They really don't like the snow. The battle rages. I feel no terror. But with who? Oh, look! Great Horned Owl Woman! Oh, there's a bunch, too. Oh, boy. And yeah, see, there's our trees overhanging our wall. Which we shouldn't have, ideally. Huh. Are those... Are they interrupting our, our jobs? Is that what's going on? Oof. Yeah, interrupted by Great Horn Owl Man. Hmm. Do we need to put a roof over our whole courtyard? But then we wouldn't have trees. Hmm. Everyone's fighting the dingoes. Last maker fighting was fighting the grizzly bear. Dingo woman. Pack the dingo woman. Wow. Okay, well. Yeah, clearly we need to make this more safe. <laughs> um, all these teeth. Oh, someone. Yeah, okay. Someone's killing dingo people down here. Well then. I guess they are going to be a, a hostile thing. Okay, but here. No, not here. Here. Um, let's go ahead and make a corpse stockpile. No, not a zone. A stockpile. Here. For corpses. And it's specifically going to be for citizen corpses. So dwarves. Humans. Uh, kind of it for now, isn't it? Uh, but we don't want, like, all those dingo woman corpses. Uh, those can stay upstairs. We don't need to deal with those down here. Um, but. 
Oh, am I even gonna be able to? Okay, here, let's see. To make our burial things. And then turn these into tombs. Does that work? Yeah, okay. Four whole tombs. My goodness. We're still, are we still fighting dingo people? I see, I see more dingo people corpses. We're have to get some axes and stuff going pretty quickly, I think. We, I mean, we found metal, but we definitely do not have magma or anything like that yet. Um, what are you? all out here for. You're all just running around. Why? I mean, it's the owls, but why? Okay. Um, of course, all of our, our ground defenses are going to be real effective against all these flying people. Okay, one, two, three... Like this. Bam. Only a four. Okay, fine. Well, uh, well, we need wood, and we need to chop some of these trees on the outside. So we can do that. Oh, we're saving. Okay, we're gonna need to re place all the ground here with road or something so that the trees don't keep growing. We want trees growing inside our courtyard, but not outside. Fine. Of course, we're going to have to cut down some of our glorious bayberries. There's already saplings and everything. Look at all this vegetation. So much vegetation. We're gonna have a real fun time chopping all these trees if there's all these all these owl people. Who's who's here right now? We have two rodent people in the caves below. We have a whole gathering of great horned owl people. The cave crocodile is in the cave. Good. Good. <laughs> um the helmet snake is in the cave. We have a bunch of caged things. So it's just the owls. I want to make... Can I just make friends with the owls? They don't need to be enemies. Uh, everyone's just going to be spending all their time running around getting nothing done because there's owls in the sky. What the heck? Suspended construction. Oh, they're figuring it out. Okay. Where's our miners? Probably running around upstairs. Okay. Food is oddly okay right now. We've done a bunch of our pipes and our screws. Did we get our screws done? Seems that way. What do, they, what do they even look like? These are all the pipe sections. They could all just be sitting here. Okay. Well, that was the thing. Uh, we need to make sure that our crafts. Here's our finished goods. Uh, we want our our sellable crafts to be. In, a, in their own stockpile. What's this? This is up to the farms. So we can do... Do... I can put a stockpile here. It doesn't even need to be all that big. I guess sometimes it does. Um, we'll do a stockpile like this. Can 
can just ferry things from the stockpile to the trade depot um, once we take care of this. And we'll put a gate here. And this gate will be closed at all times except for when there's a trader. And we could even like close the gate behind them. I guess there isn't really one back there. Or this one. We could close this gate when there's traders. And then open this gate. And then carry things back and forth. And then once they're ready to leave, we reverse it. And then we're all secure again. And that'll be a, an easy way to do that. <laughs> all these... Uh, there's already so many... Already so many corpses. It didn't take long, did it? Um, I'm curious if they can figure that out. Let's do a floor like here. Um, and we're also going to need to route power from these things. I'm trying to remember how that works. Um, I think we need a, a, a uh, an axle immediately beneath the center tile of one of these. Of course, we can't, can't chop down a sapling. Um, and then this one is water, of course. <laughs> um, so what if we do... They're all turning even, right? They're all connected to each other, so they're doing 20 power each, but there's this machine is 60 power. So we only need to get one axle off of this. So if we came down like this, we can go through there. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So then we want the channel down from here. And it can just go... And we can go to here because then we can we can go horizontally wherever we want to from here. Um, and we'll just do we'll do stairs so that no one gets no one gets stuck. I know that's what you want to do. We'll dig all that out. Um, and then we have some mechanisms. We can make a gear assembly, and we just need to make one on the bottom there, right? And then we can say a vertical axle just above it and just above that and just above that just above that just above that. And then those are all resting on the gear assembly at the bottom. Right? I don't know. If, I mean, of course, now we have a hole here, but we can we can close this in. That's actually fine. That's fine. And look at all this snow. Cool. Our corpses get. There's a billy goat skeleton. I think our our dwarf skeletons have been taken in at least. Um, pond turtle. No one else is running around out here. Did our did our owls leave? Mostly, there's still two left. And the only reason anything got done out here is because the owls just decided to wander off. Cool. <laughs> what are you, crow remains? Huh. Okay. Well. Okay. So that got done. Now let's do a bridge. That will open this way. And that does not need to be jet. Let's just do rock salt. Um, and there's a there's a thing to, for making jet blocks. Or am I lying? Plug gate craft, jug cage crafts, mechanism bin barrel, meal plant. Booze. Yeah, I must have stopped it. So let's do rock block. This would be jet in particular. And let's do five at a time. And I want them to maintain like 50 or something. 
if at all possible. So, make me some blocks. Please and thank you. What are you doing? You're just... Oh, you're just seriously injured. Okay. <laughs> Hospital. That's what we're doing. We still have... So now this is just going to be like wild animals. Okay. That's fine. Um, hospital. We should get at least a... The bucket is full. What the heck does that mean? Oh, a worm. What's this little wormy thing? It's a worm. On top of a rock. In the dining hall. I don't know why these are... Someone was throwing rocks around in here. Hospital. Would like to have access to our well. So we could do here. And have, it, have our walkway come here. We could do... a little little tricky i mean we could have a walkway coming this way and then that would be our well access i think what we're going to do is just put it right here we'll do something like this and then like this and then we just need a way in something like this Make sense? Not really. Just... Not like that. We just need. I mean, a, a hospital is really just a handful of rooms with access to water and supplies. That's really all you need. Um, but we can go like this, like this even. Why not? Why not? And then like that. And then we can just do... Eventually... I mean, I could... Do I do I give them the full... I think, I think we're going to kind of cram them in here. Even do... Even do this. I'm not going to link this. But then we just need like a little stockpile area. And then we can have more up here if we need. Right? Yeah. I mean, we're only going to do a. This is only going to be a 50 person fort in theory. Um. So, I mean, 10, 10 hospital beds, that's a good chunk of our total max population, so that's probably a good place to start. Um, and I'm even just going to start with the five. Um, so we'll turn these into blueprints. That means I can even, I'll just do this. So, water access, we'll build wells here, uh, stockpile, and then actual hospital rooms. I think that's that's essentially all we need to do. Um, we'll do something like that too. Why not? And then if we, if we really need to, we can come across this way too. Not that there's a whole lot of space. Yeah, whatever. Good enough. Uh, okay, what about our, our tombs? Here we go. Those all got dug. So let's do furniture, burial. Let's place all of these. Turn them into tomb zones. Of course, the benefit of putting all the doors is in is you can just do... I don't think I can use the multi thing. Not enclosed, yeah. 
They have doors and it can kind of auto detect. Paint. There we go. Do these get. These are all. They're all separate tombs, right? <laughs> um, okay. Okay, you do one at a time. So there, we have space for several tombs. Go ahead and do a door here and here. And here, why not? Doors are good. And then... I kind of want to start making our pump stack. Let's see if we have all the things. So we need block, screw, pipe section. In theory, those have all been made. This first one, we're pumping from the north. And like that. And then like this. We're gonna have to build a way to get in here. for the power to get to here and it's gonna be here wow that's convenient that, that actually worked out <laughs> um okay Did this get connected no still waiting for all this see like these these are already connected to the windmills perfect 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 so then let's close let's close this off I got a whole bunch more jet. I can build like this, right? That. Because this one's already made. Then. I think I can just do. Construct a stair here to here. Out of whatever. Then we can get up in there from from this side, but not down from the surface. I think that's that's important. But of course, this is like quasi outside. We'll want to be careful. You're still just on the ground, aren't you? Oh, you too. Oh, uh, I'm I'm working on it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And then you are constructing. Okay, perfect. And then, yeah, okay. Oh, we want to link this. That's an important one. So outer caravan gate, inner wall gate. This is going to be uh, trade people access. I'll link that to there. Then we can close it, and that'll be all good. Um, looks like... Yeah, see, now it's all nice and enclosed. That's connected, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected. We're waiting for literally just the one... the one axle left. Perfect. Okay. So then, ultimately, the power needs to come down... To this square or do you even so you can power things from like above also so if we just had a gear assembly sitting directly above right here then that would power it as well of course we're gonna be digging working on our our waterfall stuff directly adjacent to a poor dwarf just suffering on the ground there that's hilarious um, but if I just channel out Right here. No, not, not that. That. And then we can make 
an axle going along the ground here, just like this. Uh, nope, I lie. It needs to be one less. Let's put the we can put a, 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 a gear assembly because so, that's how you turn corners. There. And then, machine, an axle, like that, and then like that, and then now we have a hole there, and we can make a gear assembly there. Bam. That's how you do power. Um, okay, so then now we just need a way for our dwarves to actually get in here and construct a pump stack. Which, down here at the bottom, like this one, why are you waiting for items, block, screw, and pipe section? But didn't we... Didn't we make those? I saw pipes. I know I saw pipes. And I know we have blocks. Interesting. Okay, there's a lot of alerts over here, aren't there? Coffins, meals. Uh, combat is happening, but it's all inside the cave. I'm okay with that. Now we're striking things. Cool, cool. Needs jet. Okay. We already need more jet. Well then, keep digging. How much more is here? There's some more here. I can go all the way over this way, too. Um, okay, and then these were our initial... These are these are levers for things that don't exist anymore. I'll just get rid of these. And same thing with this one? Where is this? This connects to that. Okay, perfect. That's fine. Hey, look at all this. Hopefully, hopefully they can actually figure out how to do this. Keep an eye on that one. Um, yes, a uh, hospital. Since there are people bleeding out presently. Uh, okay, so then for a, for a hospital, ultimately we want doors and beds. Some main things. Uh, but also table. You want the table to be directly adjacent to the bed, as much as possible. So we'll do table, 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 table. We also want to make traction benches, but that's going to be a couple more steps. Um, so this will get us started. And then I don't even need a stockpile for the things. Um, we'll just do a door here. And then chests, but I don't think we've made chests yet. Um, just to... <laughs> yeah, we've made zero chests. Okay, that's a thing. Uh, rock offer is what they are technically called. You can do five at a time. Check whenever. Make sure we have at least ten. As long as we have rock of it. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and do cabinets because so that's what we'll need for our bedrooms. Chest and cabinets for bedrooms. So yeah, same thing. Empty cabinets and yeah. Empty rock cabinets. I don't actually care if they're empty or full. Hello! How's it going? Never noticed before that we can do rock cabinets or empty rock cabinets. That's funny. Is our chest the same way? Yeah, empty rock coffers. I don't care if they're empty. I just want some coffers. Okay. Cool. 
And then the main thing is to actually convert this into a hospital. Like that, and then including that, because that's our water. And then accept, and then new hospital. The Diamond Sanctuary. Cool. Um, we need a chief medical dwarf. That's important. I guess that's probably also a reason people are just laying on the ground bleeding. <laughs> Oops. Uh, chief medical dwarf. We have a novice diagnostician. Cool. You don't actually need anything to get working, so that's convenient. Oh, and then we'll make some wells here. Machine well. Well. Bucket. Rope. We're gonna need to make another rope. Mechanism. Where are you? You are resting. Did you? Okay. I just want to make sure people aren't using these stairs as stairs, so I'm just gonna build right over them. Um, yeah, so so they just brought they just placed them on the ground of the hospital. Is that what happened here? They're resting. I guess that's okay. Um, let's do. Some chests now that we have some. Eh. We don't, but they'll get placed as they get made. Okay. Then we would we need just a rope. I think we can make here's what we actually have on hand. Boom, clother, cloth, rope. If they can make one rope, then that's all I need at the moment. Uh, needs logs, okay. Because that all got used already. Perfect. Uh, so then let's, let's chop some more trees, I guess. I do want to make a road. And I can build, so I can build the road all the way out. So how much would this take? 16. Um, so I'm not going to use the jet on all of this. We have, we have rock salt. Let's use rock salt. Um, one up here too. You go away. And these are probably fine. Yeah, those are fine. Um, and like this one, this one's fine. can just do construct a road do like this land rock salt that'll give them something to do then how did this did this work no not quite I just how do I how do you connect how do you connect stairs I don't know why that's so hard it didn't used to be hard so they go like that uh, fine whatever if they can figure that out uh, all these dingo people Frank was a terror all stream camera is off and he's Sweetly asleep on my lap. Typical, of course. It's so nice when they actually settle in and, and like fall asleep on your lap. Jezebel does that sometimes. She used to do that a lot more. Uh, we're all we're already running out of jet, aren't we? 
this. Nope. Uh, got it all in that direction. Wow. Was that all of it? Are we done with Jet now? That'd be sad. Uh, this got linked, so let's pull it. Pull. And then, right, the, this. <laughs> Pump stack. Yeah. So... I think I made this in the wrong tile. Because there's going to be water here, so I think we wanted the door to be here, actually. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to remove here. And we're going to do stairs. And of course, now, same thing. I'm going to need to construct the stairs up from here. I can't. Okay, well... And start from here like this and then stairs running like this like that and then we just make a opening no here Like that. Then they can get there. Uh, yeah. And like I told them to. Here, let's check our stocks. I told them to make corkscrews and pipes out of wood. Nest boxes, jugs. Oh yeah, we need to do our honey stuff too. Uh, where do you... There we go. Enormous large corkscrew. Oh, because they're trap components. So they're in the trap component box. Look, we have corkscrews. That's fine. And then I saw the pipes. Pipe section. We have we have wooden pipe sections. And why? Why? What are you doing? You're taking down the door. And then I want to make a wall here. Okay, we'll give them a chance to finish all that. And then here. I'm also waiting for this. Yeah. I just don't know how to make them do that. So, uh, the way in is <laughs> to remove the wall and then go in the way you did before. These are... Oh, what happened to this one? What's going on up here? Depression. Depression not allowed. Need logs. Give buckets. Ooh, we need some buckets, don't we? Um, we'll just make, we'll make some buckets for right now. I'm not going to put a repeating order on that one quite yet. Um, wood is being chopped. Right? Yeah, okay. And then we'll just keep, keep clear cutting around the outside. And that's all going to take a minute. Let's go ahead and make our wall in here, because I think we have stuff. Yeah, jet blocks. Continue. And then, I think we're just going to do like this. Right? Of course, that whole thing is just the river. But we, we could have caravans come in and around and down and then the way into the fortress proper is continuing around and then around 
And we could have a little section in here for archers. We could have ballista here shooting this way. Ballista here shooting this way. Archers in the middle. And then backup traps. Which means these don't actually want to be walls. We just we can just make fortifications. That's what we want to do. Just have to Placing them is easier than removing them. Whatever. Anyway. How are you, JM? And or anyone else lives here? This has been a weird week. But Zelda comes out tomorrow. Ooh. You won't hear from me tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna be making stairwells through the river, I guess. That's fine. Uh, late winter. Got some insurance stuff, so I replaced my switch, which is nice. That is very nice. I don't want to be don't want to be without the fun stuff for too long. Fortification. There we go. Let's just do this, and then one, two, three. Blam. But it didn't ask me. It didn't ask me what to make them out of. Why? Why? Uh, yeah, that's I mean, that's what I want. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Build. Fortification. Using jet blocks. Thick. And same thing here. And I'm going to leave this edge open so I can get in and uh, tunnel down, basically. Feeling rubbish mentally at the moment, but I think that will pass. Oh, uh, Eurovision on Saturday. Cool. I always, always hear about Eurovision, but it's not something I've ever watched. It seems like a real... Real spectacle, isn't it? Oh, stoat! The stoat's back! Hello, hello. Um... Yeah, we don't have... We don't have a really... We don't have a real good, like equivalent, do we? There's things like like American Idol or whatever, or whatever's happening these days. Not quite the same, is it? Like, I know, like, someone wins Eurovision, right? Like, it's a competition, but is it like like with American beings, it's like like the competition's like the entire point. And if you're not, if you're not winning, then you're losing and you suck. But Eurovision always felt more like we're all just doing something cool together, right? I don't know if that's actually true. That's been my impression. Oh, we should link this to a thing. Uh, so we have Trade Depot Access, and we have Fortress Inner Courtyard. And we'll link that to that. Perfect. Person is most person is mostly pointless. Is very much country by country. Yeah. But even then, like the countries are like they're competing, but they're like they're to show off more than to like beat people, right? Or it's called face in the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> face face earth. Uh. Some countries in Europe take it very, very seriously. I guess I could see that. I guess I could see it varying from place to place. 
Um, okay. Keep, I want to keep working on, like, surface stuff, but I feel like there's other things that are important. Uh, we got our buckets, in theory. Yeah, okay. So that's all getting made. Let's go check. Uh, we're still waiting on the, the one axle. That got closed, so we're good there. And see, now there's just a stoat in here. Hello, stoat. Do you like my mechanisms? <laughs> No one's digging. Why is no one digging? What am I next looking forward to? I mean, Zelda tomorrow. That's the main thing on my mind right now. Um, I want to see who's... We, we still have three miners. Lover Tavern Keeper, that's good. Um, let's do... It's probably fine. Um, novice Ambusher. Yeah, why not? Planters. Oh yeah, food. Maybe that's a thing we should work on. <laughs> the fact that we've gone this far with this much food and not planted a single freaking plant is bonkers. Um, let's... I mean, we have we have some good planters. We'll, we'll do that. We lost our other Fisherdorf, I guess. Plant gathers. Um, I think everyone can gather. Maybe we'll limit that for now. Everyone smooths. We're not engraving yet, and everyone's an orderly. Yeah, that's all fine. Um. Yeah. Okay. So then. Never got into Zelda. Zelda's good. I mean, and the the reason this Zelda in particular is very anticipated, at least for me and people people like me, is that it's the sequel to like the best Zelda so far. The the mo the, the other Zelda that came out on the Switch, Breath of the Wild, was just so mind-blowingly good. Oh, there's jet down here. We do have more jet. Praise the miners! Anyway. Breath of the Wild was just so dang good. So it's this is gonna be a, a direct sequel, which is not guaranteed to happen with, with Zelda games. Um Sometimes they'll just do yep, yep, that was that was that format of that Zelda game, and we never did it again. Or um like uh like Wind Waker. It it continued on as an aesthetic and a like that that kind of Zelda game, but it moved to like the mobile the, the DS games instead of being a, a console game. Um, so it's not too surprising that Breath of the Wild got a direct sequel because it was like a hugely successful game even for a Zelda game. But it wasn't guaranteed. Nintendo can just kinda be that way sometimes, you know? So why is no one why is no one doing the thing? This is... remove. Um, so yeah, looking forward to, to, to playing Breath of the Wild 2, essentially. This is gonna take a minute, but that's fine. Oh! There's... someone's attacking the, the dingo person. We got more dingo people. Oh, and that's right. I wanted to do cage traps on these corners here. Too close to edge. And I could build. I could build on. Well, it's a brook, so I can. I can do that. That's fine. Go here. Building present, of course. Whatever. Only 16 gigs? That's... I mean, that's Nintendo for you. Was the... I was looking at, um... The new Jedi game. Because I also want to play the new Jedi game, but everyone's been a little... 
I've heard mixed things about that that one. Maybe they will we'll come back to that one when it's um oh here we go. It's been fixed up a little bit. Um but it was like what was it? Like a hundred some odd gigs? Like it's huge. Even huger than the first Jedi game. Giant stoat trapped. Cool. Um, okay, so I want to dig. I guess here. This is all this is all snow covered brook, right? Yeah. Maybe or maybe like here even. It'll come down through through our brook. Right. I mean, it might want to be stairs even. Ugh. Come down to the where. I don't know where our military stuff is gonna be. It could be. I mean, we want it kind of close to the surface, so we could do something like this. But this is where our military people exist, and then we just have a route that comes up. I mean, ideally, we could do just rebuild passages through this whole quarry area. Which is fine, I guess. Yeah, let's do let's do like this. Come down here, and of course it's gonna be another stupid stair situation. So let's come down to here. And we'll have to like carve out these walls and then build them in with real walls. Eradicating monsters, okay. Well, we don't have any rooms for our um, our visitors. Okay, so then... Because I can't just do construct, stair that, right? I can do an up. Maybe that's all it is. And then here, this just continues down. Yeah. Okay. And then please mine out all of this before it all thaws and we flood our fortress. <laughs> You decide if I'm rebuying Smash and Mario Kart. Hmm. Mario Kart is just such a such a mainstay. I I own Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U, hilariously. I and I feel like I want to rebuy it for for Switch even. Uh, okay, so then let's do this. And I'm not gonna use the jet. Let's just do <laughs> make it out of ice again. That'd be hilarious. Mudstone, sure. Continue. 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 And... Yeah, perfect. Did that work? I mean, that bar worked. Okay. And then we just need to have another route over here. We could just use the Wii or Wii U, yeah. My partner doesn't play those games, so it's only if we have friends around. Yeah, I know that feel. At least with the Switch, like you can you can bring it places, and you you like happen upon. Uh, person who who also has it or, or bring it to someone else who has has those games that's always 
nice to have that as an option. Uh, let's do... let's do this. Mm, I don't really want to encroach on my... this too much, do I? We're probably going to want more... more storage space. Hmm. Maybe it's over here. Maybe we do something like this. Of course, they're just they're just gonna go nuts. <laughs> oh, it's already spring! Oh my goodness, going so fast. Which is a godsend if you need to wait in lines. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was gonna say. Um, we have a big. Uh, we, I guess we have a couple big gaming conventions that show up. Um, Packs in particular, and it's really convenient to bring a switch to something like that because because yeah you're just gonna be there's gonna be a lot of downtime be a lot of other people who probably have one and you can just let's go nuts so i when the, when the switch was first announced and i was like it's like a hybrid portable home console thing i was like that don't make sense who's gonna do that and then now we're all doing it so i mean it was it's brilliant in, in in retrospect. Yeah, long train rides. I've been on a train. I took a train ride once. It was more of a novelty thing than anything, but uh, yeah, we went down a whole we went down a whole state. Uh, oh yeah, so okay. Multiple things happening. We are turning this into our craft goods stockpile. It was a finished goods, but in particular... Uh, not... Not these things. Not chains, not codices, crowns, crutches, earrings, figurines, flasks... I say not flasks. But we're not goblets. Oh, we should make some goblets. People are probably getting grumpy for not having goblets. And wear headwear, large gems. Actually, large gems are trade goods. Can't really do anything with them. Uh, musical instruments we want to keep. Quivers, splints, tools, totems, toys. These are all the things that we want to trade away, right? Or not even... Not even the clothing. Amulets, bracelets, crowns, earrings, figurines, large gems, rings, scepters, totems. I think that works. And then we will just say that our other stockpile, which is here, does not take those. Uh, bracelets, crowns, earrings, figurines. Do large gems, rings, scepters, totems. Right? That how that works? I think that's how that works. And then all the things we want to trade will be closed to the trade depot. Okay. And then we're gonna make some barracks. Now, of course, with a 50 person fort, we're not gonna have like five squads of militia dwarves, because that would be the whole dang fortress. Though of course we could do, we could have everyone take a turn. Um, but for the moment, I'm tempted to say, like we could even do two squads of five people instead of like 10 person squads. Because then we could could get a little more granular with our, our, um, our schedules and such, because like, if we just had one ten-person squad, A, right now, that's literally half the fortress. So, if we have them on a, like, train for a month, train off for a month, then every other month we'll be down, like, literally half the fortress. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do two five-person squads? I think. Uh, yeah. So we'll do... We're gonna get full-size quarters, I guess. Do, 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 do. And then... I don't even need to be that big. 
This will just be a bedroom. Like a, a barracks itself. And then the training. The training room is closer. That's the thing. So we'll do something like this. That's what, it's six by six? Well, seven by seven. And then we'll say... Three for five. Do, do, do. We could even do like that. Just five, five beds on each side and then a path in the middle. And then one at the end for... Uh... Furniture? Let's do that. Yeah. Uh... So then, yes, we'll do like this. And like this. And like this. And like this. Like this. And then we just need a path from here-ish to here-ish. Well, that was convenient. Okay, this is definitely what we're doing. We'll just do this. And then... Yeah, and did this actually work? Can they actually do that? Can they actually, like, traverse that? I'm curious. I hope that worked. Um, but we'll do a downward stair. Let's do it here. No, I need to dig it. Duh. Dig down here. And then there. There. So then we just need to close this off. That's easy enough. Let's do something like this. Continue. Continue. And we'll do that last little bit once uh once the rest is done. Uh, but then the other spot that they are going to need access to is right here. And we can do a stairwell. Of course, that's, that's a little as convenient. I should have just made these the barracks. Oh well. Any of these... We could do like this. That would be horrible. Like up here, that would be less ideal. Yeah, let's just do this. Lamb. Um, and then we can we can just go through there. So then they can run their training here or sleeping here. They can run up here. And that takes them right up into this little nook. Or go across here, up here, into this little nook. Cool. That works. Uh, let's do the doors. Doors are good. Door, door. Curious why our pumps still aren't being built. Put some doors in here. Okay. This still isn't. Why aren't you. Why aren't you working? Seems like they could get there. It's, it's they're, they're getting there. Hopefully, we just need to finish this before the thaw. <laughs> Hopefully, we're not cutting that too close. They're working on it. Lynx woman.
Oh boy. Is there still a Link's woman? No. Well, we caught one. Don't know how long ago that was, though. We have guests. We have a human reciting poetry and a human listening to poetry. Perfect. Yeah. Feels enjoyment while performing. Satisfied discussing her problems with an acquaintance. These work. This one does. But I didn't rebuild this one. Why did this one become unstuck? Are you all still... Hmm. I uh, hope you're okay. Have you... Have you been diagnosed? No evaluated wounds. Diagnosis required. No evaluated wounds. Diagnosis required. But we have... A diagnoser. Oh, right. You need to actually assign a doctor. Come to you. Okay. Maybe now they will receive some attention? <laughs> Question mark? I'm not sure. Book it. And a rope. And do some cool. Yeah, okay, so we have cloth, and <laughs> our our one crutch has ended up here. Perfect. Is that our doctor? It is our doctor. Now he's going to eat. Okay. But did you evaluate? No. Crutch required. And we have... Oh, look! The person got a crutch! That person was laying on the ground for months waiting for a doctor to come by and say you need a crutch and then leave and then another person had to go across the hallway to grab the crutch <laughs> now she's fine <laughs> okay job's done I was able to rest up the guilt is almost unbearable you were attacked by a dingo person you're allowed to be incapacitated. Um, so yeah, now you got a crutch. You're grabbing... What are you grabbing? Oh, shoes. Uh, a second sock and shoe. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Well, so now you can see this, this person is not hauling anything, but is going much slower than everyone around her. And that's just because she's... Walking with a crutch now. Just one of the ways that your fortress kind of accumulates stuff. Oh, I hope they finish this. I'm going to not give them more more stuff to work on. I'm even tempted to suspend some of the stuff that is being worked on. Why isn't this and this? I want this to happen. All of our giant stoat lynx woman. We need a better place to put our captured animals, don't we? Probably somewhere around our training area. We we should make a a, a mark store of training area as well. Something like this, and then. As far as storing animals, I mean, where does this go? That goes to the farm. Yeah, where? I almost, I almost want them there. <laughs> I mean, I liked, I liked what we were doing before with the the training pit kind of a situation. Maybe that belongs over here. We could do like that. Because we could do this. And then that would be our our pit.
pit situation. Except that it would be more like this. And we do a hole, and a hole, and a hole, I guess. Uh, but then we do like this. And this will be the stock pot. That makes sense? I don't know. I don't know. Then we'll have we'll have some holes in the ground, and then this will be the pit itself. And then they'll toss them down into here, and then they can they can train in here. I think that'll be fine. Oh, of course. Well, better be fine. Uh, but we'll do... How about... Oh, that's as far as that goes. Hilarious. Uh, in which case... Maybe... Let's remove these. We'll just do... We'll do the two pits. can say like this comes up like this yeah I think that's fine and then we we put some traps and, and such in here so we so nothing nothing escapes I think that's okay not ideal, but we're we got a small fortress. Everything's gonna be small. That's fine. Uh, well, I definitely should have made this longer. Oh well. We'll put a door there, and we'll put some cage traps here. And same thing. Door. Door, 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 door. Yeah, door. I like doors. Then we could put some cage traps here. Like that. And then beds. Or. Uh, Sorry, I just had a quick moment of, did the river thaw? Now this needs to get done quick, doesn't it? I think we have some time, but not a lot of time. I... I suspend some of these things just to... Encourage the things that are important right now. Anything else I can do to speed that up? I don't need to cancel. Suspend. This still hasn't happened. Okay. On this too. But this is this is fine. I can close that off. Um That's right. Well we'll address all that. That's fine. and Ulm. Okay, that's fine. Interrupted by Lynx Woman. Whatever. Uh, okay, how do I get them to do this for sure? Oh, isn't there? Okay, hold on. Asks. These are all the things. There's not like a way to remove current worker from the task. Really the only things being done. All the store item. <laughs> Rest. Construct.
Yeah, why... I don't know why these are all... We'll, we'll come back to that. Fortifications, roads... Walls. Yeah. You're, you're loading cage trap, that's fine. Just keep... These walls. I'm pretty sure these... These three walls, are those the ones? I can go to them. Yeah. Please do those. Quickly. What else is even... Wood cage? Nope. Don't care. Uh... I don't know. Stop. Everything that's not a wall... You stop. These are what I care about. Please do not flood the fortress because you were slow making a wall. Don't be silly. Um, I guess we could do like... Uh, what about this? Let's do... Actually... What do I want to do? I'm gonna try to like put a hatch. I don't think I have a hatch. Hatch. One make me a single hatch, please. Yeah, I'll just go down. A stone worker. Single rock hatch cover. Okay. Maybe that's smart. <laughs> okay, you're you're going down to big. Come on. Someone coming for one of these. Can can they actually get up there that way? I hope so. Cancels a mobilized break. Needs splint. Yeah, I guess that's a thing. Okay, so they can get up. This looked like maybe they went down. Oh look, a stoat. <laughs> get out of here, stoat. You go up. You. It went down. Stoat, please. Oh, okay. Went back up. If this stoat interrupts all of our wall building and and kills our fortress, I'm gonna laugh and then die inside. Come on, someone's coming for one of them. They just keep going down. This is not... That is not how that path is supposed to work. Okay. Of course, all, I placed all these doors. Yeah, okay. What are you doing? Constructing. Can't remember if the river thawed in like late spring or early summer. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, migrants! That'll that'll maybe help. How many people did we get? Oh, they're even right here. Who are you, carpenter? Everything's all right. Peasant. Maybe I give up too early sometimes. Be merry, jeweler. A merry jeweler. Woodcrafter, I'm doing fine. Oh, wow, this is going to be a good one, isn't it? And a child? And a child with a giant beard? And an alpaca. It's not our second alpaca, right? That's our. I want a llama. Now we have a llama and an alpaca. 
course. What? I want a pair. Now, someone could just finish these. That would be great. Please. Of course, everyone's using this as their stairwell now. Ugh. Ugh. And we're oh we're still getting more people. Oh and who's this? A baby llama. So that's uh we have a male llama and we have a baby female llama. Llamas. Very good. They're all coming this way. Uh, people, do the things I have asked of you. Please. I want a pig! A little piglet. A baby cow. Cow calf. No, oh, there, there went the stoat. I mean, just giant wild stoats running around in the in the fortress is fine, right? No, no big deal. Okay, well, they made one more. Pretty sure the river flows from this way, though. At least we got the hatch. That's actually that's actually good. The worst case scenario, this floods, but it won't won't flood unless someone else comes up and like actually opens it. Um, but like you can you can resume. Why are you? Hmm. Weird. Uh, but people need to come do these. We're up to, wow, that was a big migrant wave. We're up to 43 people. We just doubled our population. Guess we're gonna have to dig out some more bedrooms. Like that's, like they, they can do those just fine. I guess, and this all got done. Let's, let's do this. Let's do, not a wall, let's do a fortification here. We'll at least be closed off again. I guess we need to put a roof on this too, but that's that's fine. Okay, so that got closed. <laughs> this stoat in particular. There'll be fewer people walking through there now, I think. Okay, so yeah, because now they have to go all the all the way around again. Just make the walls. What are you all doing? You don't got. I just should have some little arrows. Okay. Well, assuming we don't get screwed with our <laughs> our river here. And grabbing some wood probably. The creative impulse is so valuable. Like they re my my I went through and suspended all those jobs and they just completely ignored me. Or I guess uh, DF Hack probably overrode me. 
needs thread. That's going to be a thing. All right, well, this is happening. Ugh. Please. <laughs> Please. Okay, what about this? Did this get all done? No. This still waiting. Is it... What if I dig... Come on. What are you doing? Playing. Okay. Is that a meeting? Attend a meeting. Huh. Cool. Well, that was a quick meeting. Um, I have other things I want to place and have people do, but I don't want to distract from this right here. Um, we can add our new animals. Uh, piglets are fine. Cow, llama, alpaca, and baby sow. We'll go into the pen. And then at some point, we will start accumulating llamas. As long as no one gets in and, and destroys a llama, that'll be good. Like the duct tape section of the fortress? Which one? Which one's that? <sighs> Animal pins? Oh, it is! That's a very... I mean, like, this is the bill, and this is the head, and the body and wing. I didn't catch that. That's cute. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Wow. That was not on purpose. <laughs> it's a very blocky. Yeah. It's a cubist duck. <laughs> they lay little square eggs. Okay, but for real. Where are you all? I might even... let's do like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel them and redesignate them to put them back at the top of the queue, basically. Let's do wall. We'll do our corners. Like... Yeah, whatever. You could even do it out of wood if that would get it done faster, but I don't know if... It, would kind of help. Okay. One of them's gonna happen at least. There's gonna be someone in here when it thaws, I know it. And it's gonna be awful. Come on! I know there's more than one person here who can build a wall. More meetings? Okay. <laughs> um, how's our hospital? Oh, look at this! Look at this full dining hall. Holy cow. You all just standing around. There is stuff that needs to be done, people. There is relatively critical stuff that needs to happen, like, in the next couple months here. <laughs> I'm glad you're all getting to know each other. Ugh. Okay, so the one got done. Now here is fine. And... Here, I think we're gonna do. Q. 
Come on. And yeah, it's like the last one gets prioritized. Very strange. Okay. I'm playing around obliviously. No one needs to be... No one needs to be stumbling around this early. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to just straight up build farmer's workshops inside here. There's really no reason we couldn't. This is all going to get built over, right? Most of it. And this can get bigger if we need it to. Ultimately, like, we can... Yeah, we could, like, dig all the way over here if we wanted to. Um, that got sealed. Okay, good. Okay. One more got done. Come on. Chop, chop. Talk, clocks. Talk's clicking. <laughs> clock's ticking. Um, okay, so we need thread because people are bleeding. I'm pretty sure that what's happening. So we should make a farmer's workshop here. And that is where we will tell people to shear animals. Um, eventually we can do like cheese and stuff too, but I think we need a, a way to get thread first and foremost, since we're not growing anything. Um, but like, look. All this. Oh, I looked up Avens. Avens is a flower. Um, just like, like nothing, nothing too special about it. It's just a flower. So you can see, yeah. So these are little flowers springing up out of the snow in the spring. It's very cool. Yeah, dense mountain Avens. Avens buds. This never got... that never got done. People are really slacking here. Okay. Just please? Please? Why... everyone can construct. Constructing is not even a thing in here. That's just a thing everyone does. Falling, refuse and dumping, sieges and forbidding, chores. Children do chores. Yeah, that's fine. Everybody harvests. Yeah, mix food. Prefer zones for drinking, prefer zones for fishing. There's no reason to not be building my walls. Especially when everyone's... Everyone's just listening to poetry. Playing make-believe. No job. Why? Can I just say... Prioritize? Tell them to use blocks for these to see if that helps at all. Huh? Okay, maybe it was the mudstone that was holding that up. Come on, people. There's one. Okay, cool. So, weird. Do that. Please and thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There. Okay. One more. We're good. Okay. Night, JM. Thanks for hanging out. I think we're... I made... I have undangerified <laughs> uh, 
uh, to some degree. Uh, good evening, yeah. Yeah, it's evening-ish, but yeah. Have a good night. Um, okay, so then these will continue. Um, we're doing... This is all out of rock salt, and that can continue. Let's do... Yeah. Oh, yeah, see? But even now, all the snow is gone, but um, the river is still ice, so actually we're still fine, but... Oh, there, see, look, a stoat woman. Stoat people. We had giant stoats, but now we have stoat people. Personality. She has a deep well of patience, but has an iffy sense for music, a questionable spatial sense, poor kinesthetic sense, and a really bad memory. Royce trails off when she's thinking about something. So hope stoat person solves the crime spree of the cat woman. <laughs> and I don't... What are they... Are they doing anything? They're just... They're just kind of here. And what's this? Someone's bronze scimitar? Hamster remains. Cool. All right. Okay. So that that <laughs> I feel much better now that we have that done. Um, I'm curious if this still works. So now, yeah. Okay. So now they can go up and down, but now I don't want them to. I just want them to build the one thing. Let's build this. I also want them to, to do this, please. Hmm. Oh, I'm just now noticing. Look at these sprites. You can see there's little gears and shafts between them. That's really cute. That's, that's really cool. Um, okay, so I'm still, I'm not entirely sure why this one hasn't been built. Maybe I'll just tell them to retry. Well, let's go ahead and do the rest of this floor, even. Um, yeah, 15. I think let's do like this. Realistically, this one doesn't even need to be here. It's kind of there for <laughs> aesthetic sense. Uh, we'll just we'll get rid of it. Okay. So here we have a farmer's workshop. So I'm going to give it a specific work order, and it's not going to take general work orders, but it's going to shear animal. And the way we did this last time worked out fine. I think we want to do one at a time, but check daily. So then if there is a animal to shear today, then we will shear an animal. And that will give us some thread. There's a... Why is there a log here? Okay, whatever. Now... I kind of want to farm some above-ground crops. Which is a thing that I don't do very often. I'm wondering... Wondering if it's possible or, or reasonable, maybe, to, to put farms around trees. So, you know, the tree keeps growing, but we're just, like, farming in all the spaces around it. As opposed to... Like, farming... Ooh. Bay mood! Oh, our first... Our first strange mood! Perfect. Look how quickly all this is going. Um... Let's make sure our person has... Whatever they need. Uh, peasant is fighting... Stoat woman. 
agitated stoat woman attacks the peasant. Agitated stoat woman punches the peasant. So now we've we've upset the stoat people. That's a good sign. Okay, claim the stone worker. Grabbing stuff. Want to make sure that this dwarf gets everything they need. I must have cut gems. That's a thing. Uh, this is all clothing. This is all craft dwarf. Carpenter, boyer, mechanic. Okay. Workshop. Jeweler. Let's make two jewelers. Um, and just to keep things going, let's... I, we need to dig more to bedrooms because we have a bunch of people now. Let's dig all of this and all of this. And then we'll have 50 freaking bedrooms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bucket is full. Well is operational. 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 What about you? You are still unconscious. Treatment. Needs sutures. Yeah, we need to... Someone please yank all the hair off that one llama. Okay, cool. And then you are just gonna cut some gems. Go for it. We got a bunch. And you're sleeping right there. Perfect. <laughs> um, we're making rock crafts. Which is good. There's a troll that must be downstairs. I hope that's downstairs. Um, suspended construction of salt road. That's a giant wolf. That's a big wolf. Whoa. Hello. That's a that's a big bad wolf. <laughs> Daw. No, no. Stay away. <laughs> Do not pet the doggo. Let's see. Yeah, stray llama wool. That does not go here. That. Uh, da, ba, ba, ba. This refuse pile is. Okay, hold on. Not. I guess bones, shells, teeth. Fine. Not hair wool. And even, it's it's really like the llama wool specifically. And the alpaca. And there was a third thing. I don't remember what it was. Um, that's fine. The rest of this can go out there. Maybe not shells. The shells are going inside. And skulls. We can bring skulls inside. Probably use bones for stuff. I ended up taking up a lot of space last time, though. Yeah, so here. Skulls, bones, shells. I guess we are accepting bones. Um, let's go ahead and accept alpaca and llama wool here. Then yeah, the hamster. Okay, we have hamster vermin. Okay, that's going. Where'd that wolf go? It's up there. So long as it can't climb or anything. Okay. Machines, windmill. To build. Please do so. Okay, so those will happen. Begun a mysterious construction. Perfect. The only thing worse than that giant wolf showing up is losing sight of it. <laughs> it's uh Yeah, it's there! Where are you oh uh learn more about this visitor after they chat with the local. This is a new person who just came onto the map. You are... 
a human, so not part of any of the groups we recognize. Are you gonna are you gonna go for it? Are you hunting the big bad wolf? The wolf is running for this from this human. Come on. <laughs> Does not want. Come on, into the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, come on. Into the cage. No. Is that a bee? Yeah, bumblebees. We need to do the bees. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, you put cage traps on the corners there, and they'll just. That's where they'll end up. Farm, farm, farm. Um, I think we can we can get rid of boulders. Oh, Stonecrafter has created Monangava Gavid. Ugo Ugash Ugash Minkil. A Lamanite Fath. So this is gonna be an instrument. Claims it as an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor, Sotol Machine Lock. Cool. That's gonna be our first. Oh, so the other people have brought things. Uh, but here. Drill clobbered the hollow leopard. It's a, it's a fancy instrument. Uh, it is encircled with bands of rectangular limonite cabochons and cushion morion cabochons. There's a... Wow. Holy cow. This is a very uh, decorated thing. On the item is an image of dwarves and goblins. The dwarves are fighting with the goblins. Artwork relates to the attack of the lies of prestige of on the lies of prestige of the crested flies at hatred pleats at the dip ceiling. That's a thing we did. That's when we raided hatred pleats. Here, someone just made an instrument dedicated to that time we raided the goblins. See, isn't that? See, I I mean maybe I'm just nerding out about that, but I think that's freaking cool. We didn't have to do anything for that to happen other than making two fortresses in the same world. It's just that's just how it works. There we go. There's the river. Late spring late spring is when our river actually thaws. And see, everything's fine. Everything's fine here, yeah. Oh and here. So now this is just air. That's fine though. Um, but, so yes, okay. Bees. Bees. Bees need to be outside. But the way that this game considers outside, each tile will be inside or outside. And usually, in previous versions, it would just straight up tell you. Like you'd hover over a tile and it would say inside or outside. Bees need to be on outside tiles. The beehive itself needs to be on a tile that is registered as being outside. But as soon as a tile... Like if, if, if there's an inside tile and then it gets, it gets sunlight, you get a hole in the ceiling, this, these become permanent outside tiles. See, look, this is even growing... This was the, this was the base of a lake, so I don't think it even... Like, it was probably outside to start with. This is already growing outside things. Like, meadow grass? This is not growing because of our cave stuff. Like, our floor fungus. This is because we opened the caves. But this is because these are outside tiles. And that's important, or significant, because if we build a roof over top of this, these will still be outside tiles. So, we can make ourselves secure by by just putting a ceiling over this, and then we can build beehives in here. Now the beehives are inside from the perspective of keeping giant wolves out, but they are outside for the perspective of being bees. So then that's how you make an indoor bee farm. So since we accidentally mined out this and just <laughs> got rid of this lake, um, I think what I'm going to do here is we're just gonna we're gonna get this out a bit more. I'm just gonna square this off basically. Like 
this. So then all of this will be outside. And then we'll put a whole, we'll put a floor here. We'll put a, put a, construct a floor here. And then this whole inside area here can be bees. And then this will be, this will be farm. That's fine. We don't need that much underground farm stuff. Um, the main thing is just making sure that they don't cause a collapse of some kind. A little kind of... Start like that. And then we'll be good to go. We'll get some mead going. We'll make some happy people. We're working on that road. Perfect. Um, and this, you could also do this to make uh, an outdoor or an indoor outside farm, I guess. Uh, like, we're, I want to grow outdoor crops. And yeah, now it's summer. Jeez, we are going to do like a year of stream at this rate. My goodness. Um, you could plant outdoor crops inside using the same, the same thing, just using outside tiles that have a roof over them. Um, that's the thing we could do, but I'm not going to... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, yeah, okay, well. Yeah, okay, my stare. I reached this lake. But, ultimately, for all the places to flood, this is not that bad. This might just drain the lake and we'll be... Oh, but I don't want to drain the lake. I like this lake. This is where our fish are coming from. I mean, a little hard to fix now. Well, <laughs> it's already half to drain, so uh, this is how it's going to happen. Um, I was just going to say that we could we could do the same exact thing to make. Uh, an inside outside farm but that process like I can't rebuild ground on top so we wouldn't actually gain anything we have this much ground to work with and if I if I open the ground and then put ground beneath and then ceiling above I can't grow things on the ceiling so we have kind of a set amount of space that we can grow in I think I'm just going to leave our... Um, and then we wouldn't be able to do trees. Like, if we, if I just mined out this whole thing and then floored it all out and then had all of the farm be down here, we wouldn't be able to do trees. And I want to do trees. These trees are good. Um, especially these bayberry trees. Um, so we're just going to do an above-ground farm actually outside, and we'll have to deal with the owl people the old-fashioned way. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, once this drains... We can close this back off. And this will actually refill again, pretty sure. Um, I'm actually going to say... We're just going to... Forbid these doors for now. This is temporarily a lake. Um, but I don't... I don't think the water can go down through here. But we'll find out, I guess. But even then, it's... Flo it's whoops, we drained our waterworks. So that's actually... Of all the places for all that stuff to end up, it's not that bad. <laughs> but geez, that was silly. Um, these... I want these to be fortifications. And then we can make our... make our barracks. Let's do some beds. We'll, we'll start with we'll start with that considering we also want to do our um, <laughs> all of this too we're gonna need a lot of we're gonna need a lot of wood I'm gonna agitate a lot of critters oh well need wood to train the dwarves to fight the things that get angry that we chopped wood. <laughs> doors, 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 
doors, doors. We can probably start moving our fortress soon too. That'll be cool. Fortress so so small. It's gonna look real good pretty quickly, I think. The bucket is full. This one's fine. This one's fine. This one's fine. This person is still resting. You are... Still needing sutures. And we have... We have cloth. Are we... Are we auto-looming our cloth? I thought I turned that off. Uh -huh. Standing orders. No automatic weaving. Okay. In theory, someone is... no... no... Sh <laughs> Cancel suture, no thread. Cancels... Cancels sheer animal, no creature. Well, we got the wool. Okay, so we got... I saw... I know I saw wool. But we need to loom it. So you... Turn... What is it? Collect webs. Turn thread into cloth. Where does spin wool happen? Like spin thread. Yeah, spin thread. Where do I... Here you can turn thread into claw. Is that a farm? Ooh, ooh, a caravan. Cool. Uh, farmer process plants. Spin thread happens at a farmer's workshop. Okay. So then, I feel like we're gonna want more space here, but that's there's space here to more space to put things. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and... I know that we were going to want more space. Um, and I suppose... Do I want to actually connect here? I don't know. Uh, at the very least, I know that I want... Workshop. Do, do two of them over here. Um, and then here we can also dig this out a bit more. Of course, we're using all our <laughs> we're using jet for other things. Oh well, that's fine. What are you doing? You're playing. Okay, that's fine. I am. Oh, diplomat could not complete a meeting and left happy. Left unhappy. Why? Rigoth. What you doing, Rigoth? Siege Operator Diagnostician Expedition Leader is sleeping. Peasant, attend the meeting. <laughs> hmm. You're... you're fine. Why... Why did that happen? Oh, we have a full-grown stray llama. Cool, cool, cool. So that means we have a male stray llama and a female stray llama. We're on the road to being okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Um, I don't know why our um, meeting didn't happen. Let's do all that. 
This is still... Yeah, see, now this is just all gonna... Goodbye, lake. Didn't even get a chance to flow down there. Wow. Oh, okay, so we're gonna open these doors. And I'm gonna hope that someone can just finally make the freaking axle. Um... But yeah, we want... I want this to not be here. But how do I do that without... I mean... I can do this. Because these are, these are all ramps, so they can actually just walk down into this pond now. I'm just gonna build a wall... here. And sure, you can also be jet. Whatever. And you saw that cat. So then, this will be sealed off, and this can, in theory, start filling again once it starts snowing in the late summer. Probably. Um, okay. Oh, uh, we also have a caravan, in theory. Right? Yeah. Broker requested. And then, in theory, our bins are sorted. So here we have, yeah, figurines. Rings? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I definitely want that. And then, not that. Probably just the one. <laughs> yeah, we have... I don't have a ton of finished goods at the moment. Oh, here's another one. Perfect. Cool. That works. And then, I can open this. Pull. There. And even, like I said, I can just close this one. Of course, we should we should move that lever somewhere else. That's fine. Um, but then they'll they'll just run over and move everything. So yeah, perfect. So then the trade depot access, fortress inner courtyard. This is gonna be trade depot. Safety eight. And we will link that to here. We can disassemble this one. Or we'll we'll wait until the other one's set up before we remove it. Um, but yeah, look. We're waiting two items, but now people can just Come from right here, and go up, and go to right here. And people are... are going up. Yeah, see? See? Now it's all sealed off again. But another thing I could have avoided if I could see the ice underground. And those got made. Those are all linked. Perfect. Machines. Build the machines. Okay. And then... Oh, I do not have a broker. I guess that's... That's a thing. You. Negotiator. Liar. Are you an appraiser? Novice appraiser. Our, yeah, animal dissector? You can you can be our broker. That's fine. Okay. Then we're we're moving our stuff. Cool, awaiting one item. Having this door here. Now that I think about it, it's a nice, it's a nice safety mechanism. Are you 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, trade. Take a look at 3,500 in this chest already. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, laps. We probably don't even need that much. Let's see. Oh, we could import wood. Hmm. That's a good thought. If we don't chop the trees, then the creatures don't get as agitated. So I think... I think... It's the... Chopping the trees is the part that makes creatures into agitated creatures. So if we can get... Wood... Look, that's... 27 total? 27 value worth? That's not a whole lot of wood, but that's keeps us having to chop a tree, probably. <laughs> um, some instruments. We can get some instruments. A grizzly bear cage. Because that's what we need. Uh, we don't need booze. Uh, decorated buckets? Why? <laughs> Let's just grab a couple buckets. Um... Picks? That's not a bad idea. Just a couple cheap ones. We haven't been able... We haven't gotten any of our metal stuff going at all. Ooh, malls. Cool. Flails. Uh, training weapons, whatever. Cape. Shoes, boots. We should start... Once we get... I mean, our llama... Our llama is going to start uh, making us clothes here. Hopefully soon. Um, and all these clothings are going to be human-sized. Uh, spelt seeds? Grape seeds. Cool. Uh, those are things we can grow, probably. Oh, and all this cloth. Perfect. Cloth is expensive, but worth it. Leathers, leather's going to be worth it, too. 200. A thousand, my goodness. Uh, bolts, rings, large gems, meat. We're good on meat. We're good on fish. We're good on plants, leaves, and fruit. Give me your thread, please. And... Sheep backpacks are fine. And quivers. We could we could make quivers, really. Menacing spikes, cheese. We'll be fine on cheese in, at some point. Um, splints and crutches. That's wood. Uh, and then, yeah. Now we're still like way over trading. Okay. Sure. Uh, cool. I'm okay with being generous. Cool. Now, in theory, they're gonna take the stuff back and forth. I'm curious. It's kind of difficult to see how much of your stuff is still in <laughs> in there. We'll we'll wait until they grab all of our stuff, and then we'll lock the doors back, and then they can leave. Hooray! Clother has risen. How do we have a ghost? I thought we... I thought we bury everyone. The ghostly clother is haunting the clother in the clother. Or oh, the gym cutter, sorry. Tekkud. That was someone who went missing. We didn't actually find their body, did we? I guess that explains it. Uh, you need a slab. Engrave to Tekkud. Boost. Do it quickly, please. Um, and then a spot for graves or tombstones, I guess. Uh, I can go here. All right, this is all. This is all fine. Won't be a lot of space there, but that's fine. We won't have more than nine people without 
proper burials. Right? Okay. Now, the freaking screw pumps. Can they not be made out of wood and stuff? Like, this is... Confusing to me. It's not like I'm pumping magma. I don't know why it would need if it would care if it was made out of wood. Um, okay, and then this is gonna be our thing stockpile. Like for for these these animals. Our cot our cot critters. Um I'm gonna say there's that. That's going to be for animals. And this one's gonna be not accepting the empties, but it will accept everything else. And then this one. We'll accept all of them, but give this one. And then this, we want to say, does not accept animals. And then we'll be good. And then I might even... If we build a wall here... Let's do that. Let's do that. Build a wall. See if you can figure out the mudstone this time. Yeah. So then, empty cages and stuff are going to end up here too. I don't know if there's, a, there's probably a better spot for it. Are you all ready to leave? No, I don't need you. And then, I don't see. Oh, no, there's still. We still have logs in there. Petition for eradicating monsters. Yes, please. We should make some long stay quarters for our visitors. Because that's not a thing we've done yet. Uh, need jet, need logs. Yes, yes. Merchants have arrived. Okay. Yeah. And then there's an, an empty barrel and an empty bin. And we're good. This can... Our our very first initial un wagon unloading spot is now officially retired. We are, we're officially moved in. It's like when you, when you unpack the last box, like three years after you get to a place. Now we're moved in. This is our edge. That's our edge. Okay. Has this happened? Nope. It is not. Lots of things haven't happened. Okay. Well, we want to do this, and then this. I'm... I should, like, remove that ramp, too. Does it really matter? Maybe not. Uh, but we have some hives. Which are in the workshop. Yeah, okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, and they could just kind of just be be. <laughs> uh, I think I can kind of pack them in here. Let's start with that, and then our last our last little spot here. And we will immediately pave it back over. So I'll, I'll wait for someone else to get up there. But I would love it if someone finished this. Because I'm pretty sure if I if I cancel this, do these all? No, these 
is still fine. I was expecting it to deconstruct, but I guess it's attached at the top still. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Well, then let's try. Let's try again. Let's do a machine vertical axle. There. Now, if someone could do that. That would be great. Look at all these hearts. Okay, so... I'd like to know how many hives we even built. Um, but for, for starting out, that's plenty. Let's do... do, 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 do. Where am I looking? Farming. Hive. Six. Yeah, let's just rock hive. Make rock hive. We'll make we'll make ten. Why not? I'll fix that. And that's done. Perfect. And then let's construct a floor out of we got granite. We got we got. Need 32 of something? Rock salt? Let's just, yeah. Rock salt. Okay. So the thing with hives is we, we're going to want a handful of hives that are for creating new colonies. And they will supply the rest of these with colony, basically. Um, so, let's say to start with, we'll do like five of them, even, or four. Yeah, so the, these, four, these four hives, we will not be gathering honey from. We will just be developing the hive and then splitting it, and then installing half the hive into another hive, basically. And then the rest of these, we will actually harvest from them, but you kind of, you consume the colony when you do so. So, these four will provide the colonies for the rest of the hives. Uh, need logs, of course. Uh, let's, let's deal with our ghost. And down here, I need some more hotkeys in here, don't I? Here we go. Furniture, slab, and has it not been made yet? Hopefully, that one's, that one's made our slab yet. Or just hasn't been moved? Or no? Come on. Gotta be like right here. Or no, we, I told him to engrave a slab. We haven't made slabs engrave yet. That's the problem. Make rock slab. We're gonna want some of these on hand for this exact situation. Um, rock slabs less than 10. Hard rock greater than 10. Perfect. Now, please make some slabs because there's a ghost like right over there. You're still cutting gems. Um, oh, and then we should spin thread. Let's do that until <laughs> there's no more spinnables. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that will be good for our hospital. Oh, and we need to put, like, cabinets in our, <laughs> in our bedrooms. Um, and finish installing our bedrooms. Okay. Do, do, do. Do, do. Why are the doors not being made? Aren't we? Are we still making doors? You, Yeah, you're working on it. Just, you know, being slow. Got 
got all this, all this Kalanite. We're gonna have to do porcelain again. We can get, we can get forges going. That's gonna be a whole thing. What are you doing? Just hanging out in the kitchen? Okay. Hey, a slug and a snail. Look at our, our... <laughs> There's a slug and a louse. And there's a louse. I saw a worm in here earlier. Really, really happening. Okay. Um, then in theory, oh, we need to actually make them into bedrooms. That's a thing. Multi. Wham. All bedrooms made. Bedroom. Clam. Eight bedrooms made. The dormitory. Oh, someone didn't get a. Someone doesn't have doors yet. Door. 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 Okay. And then. Yeah, this just got turned into a dormitory. Okay. Which I guess is cool that the thing knew how to do that just automatically, but that's not why what I'm wanting. Done. There. 48 bedrooms. All good to go. How are we doing up here? So this can all evaporated, that's fine. This is getting made. Our Oh, the... Uh, oh, hello! Welcome. How did our... Our caravan just came out of our fortress a very strange way. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, we'll... Yeah, let's pull this. Pull. And then... Pull this one. We're back into our... Our safe... Safe setup for receiving new traders. What are you doing in here? Oh, you're fishing inside our fortifications. Why not? That, no, you're just... Being in a mood. I have a part in this. What are you? Oh, you've gone. You've gone down. Human spearman. Okay. Well, like these have been strange too. Why? Why do you be strange? Did this get pulled? Mm -hmm. Maybe pull it again. Things get weird when they're linked up to two levers. We do want to remove that one. There we go. And why? Making walls out of mudstone has not been working, which is very strange. Uh, but we have plenty of rock salt. There's still, yeah, there's still stuff here for us. I guess we should still leave this open, but no, no. Because then things can get inside. Ooh. I'm just, you are fishing. I mean, why not? Walls out of wallstone? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, we need wood. That's what we need. Um, and we also need to continue building our perimeter. So, let's chop. 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 That's a little, that's a little pond. Someone's glove out here. Um, construct paved road. 
me. It's all gonna be rock salt. And all the way up. Oh, I just saw a bird. That's unfortunate. Um, luckily, the game has been running pretty fast, so that won't lose too much time for us. But why did that happen? Weird. I hope something didn't break. Uh, but hi, how are you? Where are we? How much did we lose? We lost we lost a fair bit. It's fine. It's fine. I just have to remember what the heck has been happening. Ugh. I've done a whole bunch of stuff. And all of our all our beehives. Uh, do, do, workshop, farming, live. And then we'll add the raw carbs again. Yeah, okay. Then... Uh, all of this, too. Hmm. Do it. <laughs> Another stupid flood situation. Which is fine. Um, we'll, we'll lock this again. Oh! Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> like to flood a fortress? I don't like to. This was by accident. I just already know that this resolved itself peacefully, but I, I dug a stairwell here while this pond was frozen, but when the water is frozen, you don't see it on this level. Like, you'll see the top of the ice, but you don't see the ice down here, so I didn't realize I was, realize I was digging right next to the water. So as soon as it flo as soon as it thawed, I'll just dumped right down my stairwell. Unfortunately, this is just a quarry area, so no one's really needing to be in here. Just stupid. Um, okay, so bedrooms. We were digging, we're still digging bedrooms. That's fine, but this all got done. Okay, so pardon me while I redo some stuff real quick. Dang it. The furniture bed. Now, last time we had a crash situation. I was able to solve it by saving manually and, and quitting and coming back. Um, but of course, I'm about to wrap up for the day anyway, so... Maybe it'll just fix itself that way. Um, oh. Furniture bed. And then some doors. All of it. Twelve bedrooms done. Bedroom multi. Twelve bedrooms done. Perfect. Okay. And then I need to make those farmers workshops so that we can have thread going. Bed here, ba -do. farmer here and here. And then I probably need to tell them to make slabs. Yeah. 
crafty rock slab. Another five. Repeat. There's the human caravan. They weren't able to meet with my diplomat. Is that because... Like, shouldn't the expedition leader be the diplomat? Maybe I'm wrong there. Oh well. Um, but yeah, okay, so now that's all fine. This is all fine. And then we want to just build a wall here. And you. Then we continue digging all of this. Ugh. Right, yeah. And then these. And then we still want to chop trees. I mean, we don't need to get rid of those. The ones that don't aren't overhanging our. Fine in general. Um, we'll drop these. And okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Come back. Let's make these roads again. Paved road. Out of rock salt. Yeah. Because we have so much rock salt. Continue. Okay. That got done. There are traders here, so now we broker requested. Um, this is only only linked to the one because, of course, it is. Let's let's pull this one. It's fine, and then we'll pull this one. And that will be fine. Um, that got made, thank you. That means I want to just... I just want to do this. That'll be our... That's our animal stockpile. Oh, I have to trade again? At least I know I only need the one... I only need the one bin, right? There was the... That's the 2300 one. Even that's probably enough. Stuff, but you know, this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, lever's been pulled. Site is secure. We can open this back up again. Not that it's really important. Um. Okay. And that all got dug, so now we just need to do the floor again. This is also going to be excellent. I would love it if they could finish the machines. Already starting to get some grumpy people. I want to have the waterfalls going. The farms. We need to get. We need to farm. Um, you're still shearing. Okay, perfect. Probably just gonna trade. Trade would probably be done. Uh, dwarf. Dwarf music is like if Borderlands soundtrack and the Diablo One Town theme had a rock and baby. Yeah. Not wrong. There's a reason it's been living in my head for like a decade now. Uh, 
okay. And then... Like, I keep... I've been, I've been debating, um... What? There. I've been debating putting on different music. Like, just having a, um... Just like a, a royalty-free chill music going. But like, I'm not, I'm not tired of this music yet. What else were we doing? We got some seeds, right? Alfalfa. Carrot. So yeah, these seeds are different now. That's fine. And rat weed. Ooh, rat. And then... Uh... Yeah. Uh, how do I... Uh, control, click, check box. Couple of leather. Loth is mostly what I want. Am I already trading 3,000? Buckets aren't that expensive. Oh. Decorated ropes? No. <laughs> no. Do not need. Fancy ropes. Uh, okay. And then... And then... Do we do control click checkbox? So if we do both these, we have plenty. And what else was here? Do do do. Oh, the splints and stuff. Not the one worth a thousand, though. Cool. Almost tempted by those corkscrews, but we should be able to do it with what we have. Don't know why it's not working. Okay, so we can buy some of this more, some of this other cloth too. Why not? This is all that's all good stuff. Call that good. Yeah. Great. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this one. They're gonna they're gonna unload our our trade depot, but I want them to be able to get out without complaining, I guess. Um we have a grown llama. Diplomat cannot meet. Okay. No logs. Okay. I think I should call it there before I break more stuff. But this, uh, this basically worked. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep working on this area. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I need like a like an emergency mute button. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do some ballista junk in here. We're gonna make some more traps. Um, we need to get our metal stuff going. In addition to our farming, that's we still haven't actually made a farm yet, but we'll we'll do that. Um, we have space for it now, at least. Um, we'll do some below ground farming here. We'll do some above grounding farm up here. Got all these bayberries just laying around. Yeah. And then in theory, this this will get finished, maybe, and then maybe we'll be able to make our I don't know why our um no, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna save. Save and return. Just don't wanna don't wanna risk another crash and lose that stuff again. Um But yeah. You can do it. I believe in you. Cool. Okay. We're good. 
Um, so yeah, we'll 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 grow some stuff. We'll, we'll plant some crops. <laughs> we're th seriously three years into this fortress. We're at our max population. We haven't planted a single thing. My goodness. Uh, but we we should start planting like the those whip vines. I want to get those going. Um, those are apparently worth good stuff. Um, and if we can get power going, and we can get millstones going, we can start making a bunch of flour, make a whole bunch of really high quality food, and get the waterfalls going, and then maybe our people will not be grumpy in this fortress? Question mark? Maybe? Unclear. Uh, well, we'll deal with that ghost when it pops back up, too. Uh, but yeah. Things are going well. Uh, we didn't ha we didn't lose anyone, right? We just had we had a couple people die from the grizzly last stream at the very end, but no one no one died this time. People got attacked and laid on the ground of the hospital for quite a while, but hasn't died yet, so that counts. <laughs> um, some people went missing, and I'm not sure what actually happened there. I think we might have actually lost someone. Um, that ghost. I don't know where that. I don't actually know what happened to that ghost. But that's fine. We'll just make a slab. Move on with our lives. Anyway, uh, this was Dwarf Fortress. Come by on Saturday, and we're gonna continue on Sekiro. That'll be fun. Uh, that monkey needs to be dealt with still. Not to mention all the other bosses we found. Oh my goodness. Might be gnarly. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and then more Dwarf Fortress. Dwarf Fortress. On Monday, we'll continue right here, right where we picked off, and we'll start planting stuff and making things work. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this fortress so far. So yeah, uh, swing back by or catch the VODs, push the buttons, you know where they are. Stay kind. <laughs>